What is up, peeps? Now that I have over 10,000 drone bomb kills and battle bit remastered, and the game's been updated plenty of times since my original drone bombing guide, I feel like it's probably time to make an updated version. This video will use chapters so you can easily navigate to the information you need, so feel free to skip around to whatever you want. However, since my last guide, a lot of things have changed both in the strategy of drone bombing and the core mechanics, so I implore you to at least watch it full through once and then use the chapters to come back and review things at a later date if you need to. But like I said, hey, you do what you want to do, I can't control you. By the end of this video, you'll understand everything you need to know about drone bombing and hopefully become a drone bombing god like me. All right, let's get into it. To drone bomb, the first thing you have to do is get to level 30, and then you have to select the recon class. Then you choose your primary gadget as the recon drone, and then your secondary gadget you'll choose as an AP mime. Now you can technically use claymores or C4, but with the claymores, uh, the wires shoot out of it and they don't really attach to anything, so they're really hard to get to detonate. The hit registration is really bad. And with the C4, you either have to have a buddy detonate it for you, or you have to do it yourself, and that gives them a better chance of shooting down your drone while you're switching over to blow it up. The max mines that you can have on the drone at once is four. If you put more than four, they start to despawn. However, I recommend using three and just spreading them out so you cover all the surface area of the drone. It makes it easier to hit your target and it makes the explosion range bigger if you spread out the mines more. You can also use two mines if you want to move a little bit faster. I would recommend this if you're not going to fly high up in the air and you're flying a little bit lower, kind of hiding behind buildings. It's good to use two because you're faster and you can dodge bullets easier. And you should also keep in mind the more stuff that you put on your drone, the slower it flies up and turns, but the quicker you descend. It doesn't make the explosion range that much bigger, but it does make an impact. And think about when you have mines on the ground and you shoot a mine and it detonates another mine that's kind of far away. And that's kind of the same concept. So if you put a mine on the front and a mine on the back, when the front one goes off, the back one will then go off and cover more area. You can only fly the drone about 350 50 meters away from where you're at if you need to you can move and get closer to it and then reopen the drone as the drone will hover in the air if you're not actively using it and this 350 is kind of just an estimation it's usually around that point where your screen starts to glitch a little bit and you can still fly when it's glitching but you'll see that you start to lose control of it and if you go too far you'll lose complete control of it one really cool thing you might not know that you can do with the drones is you can actually shoot the bottom of the drone and shoot it up into the air the reason you would do this is if you're close to objectives or you're close to a bunch of enemies it's easier for them to hear it if you slowly fly your way up and the more mines you have on your drone the slower it can fly up so sometimes it's nicer to shoot it and shoot it way up in the air super quick so they can't hear you slowly going up the drone will also go higher depending on the velocity of the weapon that you're using so if you're going to use a sniper try to use the highest velocity sniper or what i like to do sometimes is use a glock and just kind of spray for a second and it shoots it up really high up in the air just make sure when you're doing this you're shooting the bottom of the drone try to shoot it in the middle and if you hit one of the mines it will detonate and every now and again i have had an issue where it will go through the drone and some for some reason blow it up so just be mindful of that but it is a really nice thing to use sometimes all all right, so now that we got the drone set up, let's talk about how to fly it. So you hold space to fly up with the drone, you use W, ASD to move around, you use shift to sprint with the drone, and you use E to descend. And while shifting the sprint, you will make more noise so it's easier for people to hear you. And I don't use this stuff personally, but some people find it helpful if you raise your DPI on your mouse while you're flying the drone to turn quicker, and you can also use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out of the drone on the camera. The two main styles of drone bombing that I use are flying super high and diving down, or flying close to rooftops and buildings and using them as cover. Regardless of what style you use, the general rule of thumb to be successful is you fly in a diagonal line so you hit your target's legs. So you want to meet your target and the ground kind of at the same time in a diagonal line. This is so they have the least amount of time to hear or see your drone, because if you fly too low, then people will see you earlier and shoot you. And if you fly too high, you'll end up slowly descending on your target right above them, and they will most likely hear you and shoot you because of how long it takes for you to kind of slowly just go down if you're not going in a straight line. The only other style that I've kind of used sometimes is it is fun sometimes to put on two mines and just fly super low to the ground and fly around, but I'm doing that more because I think it's fun to weave in and out of buildings, not because it's like the greatest strategy ever. So you can still do that and have fun doing it, but if you want to get the biggest kills possible, you probably don't want to be doing that. All right, now let's talk about maps and game modes. So the best game mode to play is 127 Domination because it gives you the most amount of people with the smallest maps and there's no vehicles. As I said before though, you can drone bomb on whatever maps or game modes that you want. This is the one that I just find gives you the most consistent results. I've also had some fun playing Frontline and Invasion and Conquest and Wakistan is usually still pretty good on the bridge, but like I said, the vehicles kind of make it harder to get those kills. Domination also has a thousand more tickets than Conquest, which is another reason why it's better. The two best maps for drone bombing hands down are Namac and Old Namac. These maps have a plethora of choke points where people group up and the maps are so small that you can drone can reach any point of the map. They both also have resupply boxes in the spawn to get more drones if you want to do that. Um, if you want to learn more about drone bombing on the Mac specifically, I have a video on that linked in the description that talks all about how to be really good at drone bombing on the Mac. And then also, if you haven't heard of Old Mac and you're wondering what that is, you can only play it on community servers that have that map turned on, just like the other old variants of maps. Also, shout out to the BBC Dommy Mommy 24-7 server. I play that server a bunch and they have some of the old maps turned on, which is how I can play Old Mac so consistently still. 
The next best two maps, in my opinion, are Wakistan and Frugus. The Wakistan Bridge is one of the best places to drone bomb in the game because people love to hide behind cover and they often don't hear or see the drone because they're in grenade hell and there's tons of explosions and gunfire going off. They won't even notice you flying in and there'll be like 13 people just sitting behind a barrier waiting to get blown up. If you watched my best drone bombs ever video, you'll know that three or four of those were on Wakistan for that reason, all on the bridge. The reason Wakistan isn't the best for drone bombing is because other than the bridge, there isn't really that many places to drone bomb. So if the bridge is completely controlled by one team, there's really nowhere else to go. Fergus is pretty similar, but a little bit worse than Wakistan in the sense that Fergus is really good to do the F site tunnel entrance. Similar to Wakistan though, there's not that many great places to bomb other than the tunnels. And it's a little bit worse because in the tunnels, there's constant explosions and things going off that could kill your drone while you're trying to fly in there. There's also not that many big groups other than the tunnels because there's so many buildings that people are camping in. It's really hard to get a big group kill because everyone's just in different windows now just because these maps are the best in my opinion doesn't mean you can't get big kills on other maps i've gotten plenty of big kills on other maps like tensa wine paradise isle pretty much any map can have a big group somewhere if they're fighting for an objective or sitting behind the same cover so you just got to find those right moments and take them out like i said i just think those four are the ones where you can most consistently get decent sized kills all right, so now we get your drone set up. We told you how to fly. We told you what maps to play on. Well, how do you find the groups? So the best way to find good targets to drone bomb is you should either look at the most contested objectives, usually the center objective on a map, or see where your teammates are grouped up at. And there's a good chance that if they're grouped up fighting, that means there's another big group on the other side of them that you can bomb. Another way to get really big drone kills is to look for groups of dead enemies, whether it be someone suicide C4 of them or someone threw a grenade in and a bunch of them blew up. You wait for a few medics to go there and start reviving people, and after they pick up three or four people, you fly your drone bomb in there, and by that point, usually you know seven or eight people will be revived, and you'll kill the new medics who just jumped into the pile, and that'll get you a bunch of kills. Being patient will also help you become an elite drone bomber, as sometimes taking that extra second to plan your attack angle better, or waiting for a group to form or get closer can be the difference between a drone getting shot down and getting a 12 kill drone bomb and if you're struggling getting kills with your drone and you want to just get a few confidence boosting kills or you just want to get a guaranteed drone bomb kill the best way to do this is to go for snipers as they panic more often and a lot of times they either spray at you with their sniper or they'll pull out their pistol and try to kill you which is a lot easier to dodge than a submachine gun or an assault rifle all right well i think that pretty much sums everything up if you think i forgot something or you got any questions comments concerns leave them in the comments down below and i'll get to you i try to respond to every comment and answer questions as much as i can and if you're interested in battle bit content and drone bombing content please consider subscribing trying to grow the channel trying to post weekly i also stream and talk in my discord so if you need links to any of those socials they're all down in the description below and i hope you all have a great day and or night and i'm out of here peace peeps